Okay, let's say you don't want to use text for your subscribe button, or you want to add some images like a subscribe button. Well, that's easy to do. You simply go to Google or any search tool that you like, and you can type in subscribe. As you can see, I've already done this, and it said, says subscribe button PNG. That is what you're looking for. You want to look for the PNG. PNG, what that is, is it's a transparent background. So let's say you're searching for these. I'm going to click on the image tab. Sorry about that. And let's say you just want to go with something like this. So we're going to click on this. And here's our subscribe button. And we're going to right click, save image as. And we're going to save it to our desktop. That's where I save it so I know where everything is. So as you can see, it's downloading right here, and it should be on our desktop. So what we're going to do is I'm going to move the screen out of the way and bring OBS up so you can see it. So now what I'm going to do is I want to add that subscribe button to this OBS page. Now to do that, I'm going to click on this plus button, and I'm going to add an image. And you can call this subscribe if you want. I recommend that you name all of these because if you don't, you're going to forget what they are when you start adding images. And of course, it's already used, so we're going to use subscribe one. Okay, now it wants to browse for the image. We're going to click browse. And of course, in this case, it's going to be on the desktop. What we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for this. And here it is right here. And then we're going to click open. And there it is right there. We're going to click OK. There's your subscribe button right there. And it's semi-transparent, it really isn't because see the white underneath, but you can compensate for that. So let's say you wanna use this subscribe button, but not this one down here. So what you do is you go down to this one here, hit the minus button, or you can just hide it so it's not there. Drag this to where you want it. And if you notice there's a little yellow down there, it's hard to get it precise with the mouse. So if you can't, you use your arrow keys on your keyboard to get it to where you want. Once you have a position where you want, if you want it right here, you leave it here. Make sure you hit that lock button. There's your subscribe button. Let's say you want to spruce this up even more and you want to go with a different kind of image. We'll go back to Google again. Okay, we're gonna hit the back button here. And I don't know, we could put like button or like and subscribe PNG. Um, I like like button PNG like this and click on the image tab like you see here. Now this is all for Facebook. None of this is really for YouTube, but you can use anything that you want to use. You can even go with something like this if you wanted to. I'm just using this as an example. These are clear images, they're PNGs. Well, obviously you don't want to use this one, but let's say you like a YouTube image, you can go with that. But we're here for the like button, not for this one, even though it is funny. Um, this one's pretty good. I like this one. So even though it's a Facebook, I still like it. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to right click, and I'm going to save the image as, and I'm going to save it to my desktop. I know it starts with 590, and it's saved. Now I'm going to move this window out of the way. Now we're going to add another image. We're going to add that like button. To do that, we're going to click on the plus button again. We're going to click on the image. And for this, we can type in like if you want, just like that. We're going to click the OK button and then we're going to click on the browse button. And now we're going to go searching for the like button. We're going to try to find it. And there it is right there. Click on it, click open and click OK. Now, if you notice, this is here. So what you can do is shrink this down to where you want. This isn't a true PNG because it's got a white background. However, there's advanced tools you can use in order to get around this if you want. Now to do that, where the like button is, right click on the like button, click on filters, scroll down just a little bit. We're going to get this out of the way so you can see what things look like. Now on the filters, you're going to click on the plus button and you're going to use chroma key. And you can leave this like this. We're going to click OK. And up here it says color key type is green. For that, we're going to click on custom. Now we're going to select our color and we already know that it's white or you can pick a screen color like this and then go over to here and then click OK. Now if you notice 
the like button's not showing up. So you need to move this similarity button down just a little bit. So if we move this out of the way, there's your like button. It doesn't look half bad, really. I would leave it like that, me personally. And then click on the close button. So now you can resize it to any size you want. And you can have this down here. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is this red box. Once you off click, it's not there. So there's your like button. You can leave that just like that if you want. If you like it like there, right where it is, then lock it and now you have your like button. This is how you add your images to OBS. It's that simple, nothing to it. Well, that's it for this video. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and watch for the next one.